Hey folks, happy birthday to us. It's the Ozone's 100th episode. We're going to take uh, a little step in the old time machine and go back and look at some of the hits from the last 100 episodes. We hope you share the time with us and, uh, and enjoy this fun little bit. Right here on the Ozone. You're in the offensive zone. Your place for Leafs hockey. Hey folks, welcome to the Ozone. That's Coach. That's KD. I'm the Debo. We're here to talk all things Leafs. Although today we might really just want to talk about us. Uh, big <laughs> slap on the back. 100th episode. Hope we have uh, uh, a little bit of fun today. Coach. I'm coming to you from the Ozone headquarters right here in balmy Toronto. Coach, where are you coming from? No, uh, no where's coach today, fellas. Uh, this is a big occasion, 100 episodes. I had to be here in the U.S. headquarters in the studio for this one. Beautiful. Katie? I'm representing the East Side Posse, as always, out here in balmy uh, Danforth. It's uh, beautiful this time of year. You come check it out. It sure is. All right, before we get started, folks, you know the drill. Hit subscribe, like, share the video. This one's going to be fun. Uh, and leave some comments. Look, if we missed something, if there was a fun time that you liked uh, from these past 100 episodes, let us know. Put them in the comments. We'd love to hear it from you. But uh, we're going to take a little walk down memory lane, folks. Um, <clears throat> that's why we're going to do things a little different. KD, we've had some fun. This past year, some ups, some downs. Maybe not all of the technology has worked as well as you'd hope. <laughs> uh, let's start with you. Is there something that uh, we've covered over the past 100 pods uh, that you think deserves a, a, a second gander? Well, you know, I, I always like uh, or passionate about and, and like to bring up that DKI award, you know, the, the door kick-in awards and, and uh, try uh, and what it represents as far as the Leafs go. And... and uh, you know, with uh, an improvement in in funding for the uh, for the pods, you know, we've we've come up with uh, uh, you know a couple, and and uh, you know, I think my favorite of the, of the group is is of course the you know the Chuck Norris, but uh, but they're all good. So uh, you know, we'd love to see. Well, it. Let, let's roll, Chuck. Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. I I, I got to admit, I, when we first started this segment, uh, we ran uh, we ran this one, and and we kind of pulled it through through when we uh, when we started to make this segment a little more solid. I like the Big Bird one. Here it is. <laughs> hey, Devo. So uh, we got some other ones. If the Leafs would get to the front of the net, maybe we could play some of these other ones too, right? Yeah. Our tax dollars at work uh, put some more together. Let's take a look at them. Let's run them all. Okay, here they come, folks. Okay, yeah, those are good. DKI, love it. Hopefully, as you say, Coach, we can get uh, we can get these things uh, out there uh, in our regular pods. The Leafs crash the net. Do the fans yeah. a favor, yeah, Coach. Yeah. Anything the subscribers need to know about uh, about our good pal uh, and co-host KD? Absolutely. Hey, that cheerleader really ate it there, didn't she? <laughs> um, so. Uh, you long time subscribers of the podcast know there's a where's coach segment. I tend to be all over the place, but I, you know, at some time, especially early Devo, you made mention of some technical issues. Maybe we should have had a where's Kev segment. Yeah. I remember this one where he disappeared. It was just you and me. And then this one, obviously in November when it was just you and me, uh, yeah. Kev's, Kev's got it ironed out though. Now he's in his yeah. new studio. Yeah. I, I will say this. Hey, nobody commits to a, a bit more than Kev does. Um, here's a picture of him. We did this Halloween one, and uh, he's in the banana costume. So that was, that was a kid's costume. He squeezed in for that intro, and then wouldn't you know it, we record that thing, we move on, takes the thing off, 
And it didn't work for some reason. Didn't record. So he's, I got to get back in this freaking suit again. So he did. He did. I I had to cut weight to make that suit. (laughs) That's right. He's like, shoot, in that uh, Madonna movie. Anyway, um, what is that? Uh, Vision Quest. There you go. Um, So so look, but hey, we all do impressions from time to time. Um, Devo or Devo does a, a great Jaws one. Uh, Kev, I thought the best part of the last 100 episodes is when you nailed, you absolutely nailed Brendan Shanahan when we did that year in review. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Uh, to the president of operations, Katie Shanahan. Thank you, Kyle, for uh, the introduction here. So, uh, you know, taking a look at this uh, uh this work that you've done. Uh, I first want to maybe point out that, uh, you know, we've been on this theme for a, a few years now. You know, I, I bought in, you, uh, pr- you know, proposed to me, it came so close last year. You know, Larry brought some champagne at 3-1 uh, against the Habs, perhaps a little bit early. And since that time, we really have not uh, enjoyed any success uh, in the playoffs. Again, losing, losing early. You know, I, I I like to point out I'm finally uh, finally part of the uh, the big table here at MLSE. You know, I, I have dinner with Larry Tannenbaum. I met Beyonce. I'm I'm really I'm really making through, and now uh, we seem to be stalling here. So that's classic. That's so good. Uh, yeah, favorite uh, KD moment. I, I mean, it's got to be the banana. Uh, pretty. That, that's got to be it. Um, although I, I liked his contributions when he wasn't there often, uh, especially in that November, uh, that November thing, his takes were spot on. Okay, coach, let's move on. Uh, what stands out to you? Any, any real memorable takes? Yeah, man, it, it's been a lot of fun. And, you know, I, I think we've tried to mix some hockey analysis with some having fun too. So, um, this one here, I, I didn't know what I was going to say. I was flying to Boston, the belly of the beast. And um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, there was a play with Sandine, the defenseman. Couldn't figure out a good analogy, and then it came into my head. What about the movie Notting Hill? <laughs> so, look, folks, you get all kinds of analysis anywhere about the Leafs. Tell me you get a Julia Roberts, Hugh Grant reference like this one. Wasn't so much Lilligrant. If you look at the way that clip starts, we're going to roll it again here. Sandine is a full zone yeah. back yeah. when Moore gets the puck. He's at the, he's at our blue line, and he can't get over. When he sees his partner is beat, he's got to go to that guy. Yeah. There was no two-on-one. He has to yeah. go. He reacted like Hugh Grant. <laughs> and you guys are fans of the movie Notting Hill, right? Notting Hill. He pauses. There's Julia Roberts. It's just a girl in front of a boy asking him to love her. And he, and he pauses. He hesitates. Dandeen, you can't hesitate there. you got to go. You know how you have to go? You have to go like this guy, Lavelle Crawford, at a buffet. Right. You think anyone's holding him up? By the way, Lavelle Crawford, really funny comic. You should check him out. So- that's, uh, that's classic. I like the movie references. We bring them in quite often. Uh, KD, anything you uh, want to remind the viewers about uh, – about uh, coach, well, I mean, clearly the coach knows his stuff, and uh, and obviously we we love his takes, but uh, I especially you know live vicariously through where's coach, uh, you know through COVID and health and all that stuff. I haven't been traveling, so every time he gets out, I think coach, now you've been uh, remote in eleven different spots before eleven different games since we've been doing it. So keep that up, uh, and it's great, and and I you know I especially love in the belly of the beast representing the blue and white always wearing the jersey always meeting people uh, avoiding you haven't been beaten up yet which is good um so uh, i agree so that's uh, that's a good thing but uh it's it's always great always great to see coach uh, coach in, the, in another rink so we're gonna improve the funding and we'll try and get him into more rinks throughout the rest of this year I love it. Hey, KD, I was in Montreal there last month. Couldn't do one from there. Couldn't bring myself to make that number 12. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's tricky. Um, all right. I, I, I've been putting this off long enough. Uh, let's, let's, let's get to the old Devo now. Uh, this has got to be my – I always pictured uh, 
I, I could have been a, an Oscar winning actor. And I, I think, I think the proof really is in the pudding right here from this opener right here. <laughs> Butts went in. Bad fish. Not like going down to the pond and chasing bluegills or tommy cats. This fish, swallow you whole. Nineteen men went into the water. Leafs come out 4 1, November 26, 2021. I'll never wear a life jacket again. <laughs> hey, folks! Big win down in San Jose. I mean, the Oscar goes too. <laughs> I was literally eating the scenery. Uh, Katie, anything you want to add? Well, I mean, c clearly you've been uh, over over all of this, handling all the technology. If you don't know, Devo does all the producing of, of all these shows. And it's been uh, well documented, my lack of uh, high-tech uh, uh, equipment until until I've taken over my daughter's room. And... Uh, <laughs> Um, and and uh, Devo has been able to piece everything together. So he's been running the MVP pretty much every uh, every episode, getting these things together. And uh, uh, he brings, uh, you know, I, I love bringing a lot of the music in and a lot of the takes, and 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 that's that's mostly the Devo. So so uh, it's keep it up. It's been been great so far. Oh, thanks for the kind words, uh, Coach. What about you? Oh, uh, echo it a hundred percent, folks. We we just gotta. Uh, sometimes be witty, sometimes not, KD and I. But we think about some stuff. Devo puts it all together. He's the brains behind the whole operation. And he's cool as a cucumber, even when things don't go well. Um, it, the technical issues aren't always just limited to KD. Here's one where we did one, and we could hear him, but we couldn't see him. And so he puts up a Where's Devo on there. That was pretty good. <laughs> um, even through maybe some spelling errors, uh, I don't know if that was when I was in Sweden for that one, and that's how you spell it in Swedish. I don't know, subscure, but uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, look, none of this happens without a lot of work that that Devo puts in. Um, but hey, I think there's so, there's something that the subscribers don't know, and I've been I've got texts about this before. Uh, what's that song? Right, we do a little intro and then we play the song and we got all the the clips. Um, it may, hey, can we take a look at that? Let's see that o opening again. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You're in the offensive zone. Your place for Leafs hockey. So that's awesome, right? I mean, that that's a big time song. Uh, what people don't understand, Devo, is that's your band. Your band played that song. I think it was, what is it, Enormous Infant? What's the name of your band? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there uh, it is. Uh, the Giant Baby. That goes back a long way. But, uh, hey, we you know, we pay big royalties for that uh, here at the Ozone. So uh, uh, check it out. Here it is, The Giant Baby. Uh, you can find it on Spotify. Okay, uh, KD, uh what do you think? What am I thinking? I'm I'm uh, looking forward to the next hundred episodes. You know, I think we've uh, finally sorted out some of these technology issues. Uh, I mean, nothing's making us look any better, unfortunately. As uh, you know, I think we have faces for radio. Technology but, uh, has its limits, fellas. <laughs> That's right. If you could, if we can do something CGI, some of this, some of this stuff here, I think that that would be good. But. Uh, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm I'm looking forward to some of these pods in uh, in May and maybe dare I say June and uh, you know lo looking forward to that and uh, it's been lots of fun so far. Love it. Yeah, I, I I would I would like to say that if the, if the Leafs were to ever actually win around in the playoffs, the ozone will probably go down for a few weeks, mostly because. Our families will be looking for the bail money to get us out of prison, I suspect. Uh, uh, okay, last order of business. This is a long, long standing thing here. You've waited, uh, all of these subscribers, for the 100th episode. But it's finally going to happen. Coach, let's bring, uh, let's, let's bring the Tiger Woods story in. Finally. All right. We waited forever. I hope it was worth the wait. But... Um... Yeah, so I had a drink with Tiger Woods in Las Vegas at a nightclub. Um, so that's a pretty good start. It was 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. 
Uh, she chased him out with the seven iron at I think, or maybe it was a nine iron in in, in uh, late two thousand nine. So this was at the height of his improprieties. <laughs> right. um, so uh, the the way we got to that is through hey a subscriber actually the podcast Dan Baker. Um, Dan Baker uh, lives in the Boston area. Here's a picture of the two of us. The handsome guy here is me, and the guy beside me is Dan Baker. So, uh, so uh, we were at a co- we were working together. We were at a company where we did a lot of trade shows in Vegas and did some entertaining. So we were at Tangerine Nightclub um, in Treasure Island. It was hopping, and we had a suite. We had like a they had Florida ceiling curtains that that cordoned you off a semi-circular leather couch a table where the dancers were on the table bottle service like it was nuts it was great and the reason we get the way we got that was a guy dan baker went to college with this guy keith was the manager of the place he's like he was a hey baby hey baby how you doing hey baby (laughs) um so we're in there and it's about 1 a.m drinks are flowing spending all kinds of money and like Keith's in there too. These guys, like the, these guys right here, are in there, you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, the security scatters, and we're like, "What's going on?" Like they all scatter, and they were hanging out. Now they're all over, sort of in this other area. And so we go to our guy Dan. Hey, what's going on? He asks his buddy Keith, and Keith's like, uh, "Tiger Woods is here." Like what? Tiger Woods was in the suite right next to us. And so now everybody's going to Dan saying that we got to get over there. We got to shake his hand. There's no way, right? No way. <laughs> so we work on this guy, Keith, for about 15 minutes. And he's like, all right, tell you what, take a tray of shooters in there and see if his guys will let you in. So we went, Dan and I went, got a tray of shots, went over. <laughs> there's, there's tangerine security. And then there's tigers, guys, these guys, enormous humans, enormous. <laughs> we go up and they're like this. And then we kind of go like this, right? And then Tiger sees us. He goes, yeah, it's okay. So we walk in. So here's the scene. He's in the middle of one of these semicircular leather couches, right? And in between, uh, on either side of him, eight or nine of the most beautiful young women you have ever seen. His wife's nowhere there. And then a couple college buddies on either side. Right. Like he's living it up. He's got his hat on backwards, untucked shirt, hammered, hammered. So we walk in, we put the, the trays down, and we, you know, just, we go, hey, cheers, right? So take, a, take the shot. And then we're like, now what do we do, right? <laughs> There's a table in between us. And so Danny Baker, he gets in, right? He goes, hey, Tyga, you remember that shot you hit at the Masters? It was at, you know, behind the green on 16. You lob it up there, rolls in, goes a Nike logo, rolls it. That's the greatest shot I ever seen. And uh, he's like, eh. I'm like, don't listen to him. That shot you hit at the Canadian Open, six iron over wire, that had to be your best shot, right? And he goes like this. Thanks for coming in, guys. He nods. <laughs> and then these guys start walking over. And we're like, so should we? And then we lean over the table and shake his hand. Shake his right. hand. That's the, We didn't know. That's your breaking protocol. We right. did that. We turn around, and these guys are right here. Like, no, 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 we don't have any trouble. We got out. That was it. That's the story. So that's, uh, we, and then, of course, no texting yet, but we're emailing people on our Palm Pilots. I just met Tiger Woods. That's the most famous guy in the world. So there you go. There's there it the is. Tiger Woods story. Finally. I hope wait. <laughs> that's, that's, that's something else. Can, can we get some of those, uh, some of the body, uh, bodyguards on the pod next time? So I'll tell you what, we get over 200 subscribers. We might need those guys. Yeah. We get yeah. out in public. <laughs> hey, where's coach? Where's coach? We'll have a couple of these guys. Next time you go to Boston, you got to bring one of those guys next time you go to a Bruins game. <laughs> hey, uh, I just want to apologize to Dan Baker for minimizing his Boston accent in that, uh, in that impression. <laughs> it's way thicker. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Coach, you got anything uh, anything else to spill uh, uh, before we before? Yeah, we if this? we have time, I, I will say, look, guys, it's been a genuine pleasure um, doing this with you guys. It's been a genuine pleasure watching the Leafs. I mean, we've seen some remarkable things and some heartache, obviously, yeah. in the first round. I hope it gets better. But uh, here's a little clip of 
uh, us getting together, a recap of us getting together for the first time since, Kev, I saw you. The time I saw you before this was when you were in the hospital. Right. And, uh, you know, and then we started this podcast. Dumb idea everybody has. We're texting. Hey, we're funny. We should do a podcast. And then <laughs> here we are, right? <laughs> and then we got together, and, and this was it. And I think this clip sums us up pretty well. It was great to see you guys. Plus, there's a little humor in here. So let's roll this one. Okay. Well, you know, would have liked to get one against Tampa. What are you going to do? But I, I'm more focused on Columbus because I got a chance to get up to Canada and see a home game and, and get have a you know a couple of drinks with you guys, too, along the way, which was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and that was a great game. Should have been a blowout. Yeah. But I think there was, you know, a, you could tell there were some things to come, maybe not so great against Tampa yeah. by the way they finished that Columbus right. game. Riley had four assists, which was great. But, hey, Nick Ritchie scored. <laughs> um, here's a shot of me when I saw Nick Ritchie scoring. Unbelievable. <laughs> I think you fellas had similar reactions. Yeah. I can't believe he scored. That's fantastic. Orangeville is rejoicing. Uh, okay. Awesome. Awesome recap. We're going to be getting together early in January, too, fellas. So that'll be fun. Uh, we'll get to a game here in Toronto. There you have it, folks. 100 episodes in the books. Stay tuned for the next 100. They're going to be even better. Uh, hit subscribe. Like the video. Share it with all your friends. And leave a comment. We need uh, we need all the help we can get here on the Ozone. <laughs> right here. Like we always are. For you on the Ozone. <laughs>